Scientists have successfully created a living embryo from an extinct species. Remember Jurassic Park? Remember mm -hmm. how they would take a uh, frog DNA and then insert some DNA from an old species and in extinct species into the frog DNA yeah. and boom, disaster strikes? Um, so this <laughs> is kind of what they're talking about now. Um, th what they did was they used non-living genetic material from a, uh, a species called the gastric brooding frog, which went extinct in the 1980s. And they said that even though the, uh, the embryo didn't survive, it does show that it can be done. Mm -hmm. Now my question is, should we be doing this? Have we not seen this movie before? Well, my question is, of all things, you're gonna bring back a frog? Like, what about <laughs> dinosaurs and woolly mammoths Something and mastodons? Like, there's a lot of animals that have gone extinct that would be really cool to come back. Yeah. And a, a we have frogs. Maybe they're worried yeah. about what might happen. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I mean, even but in right. Jurassic it's Park, they, they took precautions in Jurassic Park. They engineered a lysine deficiency. They had fences and stuff, and it still couldn't contain them. So Life some of the frogs. found a way. Exactly. Just like they said, just like yeah. Jeff Goldblum. Listen to Jeff Goldblum. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, life yeah. will find a way. We must go faster, and life will find a way. Um, I'm perfectly fine with this. I think that if we allow, I mean, eventually those animals are going to get out and begin breeding, and we can't assume that simply because... <laughs> Especially, like, it's easy enough to make a gastric brooding frog and say, how similar is this to one that we used to have? But obviously, if we were to design dinosaurs or something, we can't be sure that they're actually like what dinosaurs are like. Like, if you look at Jurassic Park, we designed them based on what we thought dinosaurs looked like back then. That's not even how 20 years later we think they look. Um, so, obviously, if you're patching holes, it's a little bit more complicated. But I like the idea of not bringing back... Um, things that have been extinct for a long time, but they talk about in this article, there's lots of animals that are on the brink of extinction. Yeah. And if we can store some of their DNA, then maybe we can bring them back, you know, afterward. That would be nice. Yeah, after we've already killed them all off. Exactly. Sort of. Yeah. And well, look, the cheetahs. We're running out of cheetahs. <laughs> I don't want to live in a world that doesn't have cheetahs. I don't either. Mm -hmm. I really don't. But we may not have a choice at this point. Um, and well, we can we can work on that. Uh, uh -huh. But there was actually a very interesting, uh, last week, there was an interesting seminar. And I'm trying to remember where I saw this, but it was called De-Extinction. And if you search on Twitter for De-Extinction, you will find all the hashtags from this particular conference where they were talking about this very idea. And and most of them were saying, maybe we're a little too arrogant. Maybe we should consider saving these species before we kill them instead of spending all this money and research on resurrecting them after we've killed them. Prevention. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, who is a concept. Right.